show you guys a funky little throw that's part of our four hands form. I call it a push. You just catch it high, fingers on top, turn it inside and pull. Catch it high, fingers are on top, turn it inside to your left shoulder, pull, boom, pow, boom, pow. Again, you catch it high, you turn it inside, pull. High, inside, pull. It's super funky. It doesn't spin a lot. It's okay. It's just a cool throw that's easy to put together at a short distance. So the grip, the further I get to the front, the more it becomes a fastball. So if I'm in the back, it, uh, you don't push Frisbees. This isn't gonna fly, okay? If I'm in the center, the disc is gonna come out slow and dead. So ah, I can barely get there, Ron. If I get closer to the front, the disc will come out faster and sharper, like a fastball. So from here, it's really gonna go fast out of my hand. Compare that with this one here that's in the center and how dead that one is. I really like that kind of dead feel on that throw. I think it looks good, so I like to do that one. So the further you cheat to the front, the faster and sharper it comes out of your hand, the easier it is to spin. The thumb underneath is just doing, you know, like a grab thing there, kind of in the center. I don't really want it there. That winds up being like a staker. You can check that video out up there. The fastball kind of pull is almost like a staker too. Comes out real sharp and fast. I don't want it to come out like that. I want to work in about the middle of the disc, maybe cheating a hair to the front. See, it's a hair to the front, pull. And it doesn't spin a lot. It's going to wobble, that's okay. You'll get better at it. Again, the arm gets going. The arm stops. The wrist keeps going. That's where the flick comes from in this throw. Super important concept. Loose wrists, flick discs. The arm gets to the front. If the wrist is loose, you can see how much snap that hand has. So I'm gonna hold this and let it come out loosely. Let that arm stop and the wrist continue. And that's gonna give me a lot of spin on it. You can also kind of throw it a little bit like a floater, really pop it out there if you get creative with it. If you're having trouble getting this to spin, a really easy way to make it spin well is to throw it behind you. That body is flick thing here, when it gets there, it just like completely takes off. So you can throw this really far going behind you. It's got a real nice, clean release and trajectory, super easy to control, and it'll go 30, 40 yards. No, no, no problem at all. It'll also help you get a feel for that snapping and that body is flick. You can check out body is flick up there. All right, so the push throw is a clockwise throw. It spins clockwise, right? It's uh, essentially an upside down backhand. It's not much different except for your hand is upside down. So I catch it high, turn it inside, and I pull. So I'm gonna throw to the two here. That one. Inside, throw it to the two. That's where the clockwise throws go. To that side. Right, right there, yeah. Boom, I don't want it to drift off. I wish we had a camera on that, it like was dying. All right, there we go with the push throw. Another throw from the four hands form. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. Comments below, hit us up on Patreon. However, hope you dug it.